Welcome back, and tonight we're going to go ahead and make beer bread. It's one of my favorite types of bread to make. It's very easy. And the first thing I'm going to do is start with buttering and flouring my loaf pan. I'm going to go over here to the sink. Put some butter and some plastic wrap. I'm going to... If you have the paper from the butter, that works well too. This is just your standard bread pan. Okay, let's move it all around and then I'm going to take a little bit of flour. We're dusting a flour on here. I'm going to take it over to the sink and kind of get the excess like that and then I'll adjust the camera a little so you can see. So I found that these little silicone brushes work well to get the excess off. Okay, now let's get started with the bread. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I need a couple of eggs, so I'm gonna put the eggs in here. I always like to go ahead and do my eggs separate so I can inspect the egg, make sure there's nothing in there bad. And then I'm going to go ahead and wash my hands, throw the egg shell away, and I'll be right back. Okay, now it is time to start measuring out the ingredients. So I need four cups of flour. Oh, by the way, I have preheated the oven to 375. So you always want to do that before you start because it might take you a while to preheat your oven and you never want to put anything into the oven while it's preheating or it might burn. So I'm going to do four cups of flour. Get my spoon out of there from the other buttering and flouring the pan. So when measuring out flour, you always want to use like something flat like the back of a knife and to level it off. So I need four. Cups. One, two, three, four. Okay, and the next ingredient is baking powder, and I need two tablespoons of baking powder. And with baking powder, I'm going to go ahead and change the camera angle so you can see. You also want to level it off. I need two of these, so I'm going to use the lid, which works really well. One tablespoon, two tablespoons. Okay, and now a teaspoon of salt. For that, and then a fourth of a cup of sugar, and also when doing the sugar, you also want to level it off. I'm getting low on my sugar, I need to refill it. Fourth cup of sugar, and then eggs and the beer, and I have apple ale is what I'm using today. But you can use anything that sounds good. I've used all different types. One of my favorite ones is, let's see, I wrote it down, Blue Moon, Honey Wheat, um, Amber Ale, uh, Longboard Island, uh, uh, 
Lager, uh, let's see, uh, mango, even just your regular basic ones that you would drink, all different types. So I'm going to go ahead and mix this all up with a fork. And then I'm going to add, then I'm going to kind of scramble my eggs here. up a little now time to open apple ale Let's smell it smells good now don't accidentally drink some of that or the recipe will not come out <laughs> so notice how it bubbles when you put it in. Okay, now we're gonna quickly take this over to the uh, mixer because I want it still kind of bubbling when I mix this all together. Okay, so what you're gonna wanna use is you're going to want to use a dough hook because we are making bread dough. And you don't need yeast for this because there's yeast in the beer, so that they're in the ale, depending what you're using. So that is cool. So we don't have to wait for anything to rise. Now I'm going to go ahead and put the mixer on. Mix this up. I'm going to go get my pan. Okay, so I might want to get out rubber spatula and scrape the sides a little. Okay, so I'm going to scrape the sides. And mix it up a little bit more. We're very close. Okay, so an easy way to know if you're done mixing is the fact that it's not sticking to the sides anymore. It's really not even barely sticking to the beater. So if I pull the beater out here, so that's pretty, pretty much not sticking. Came out pretty darn clean. And then the bowl itself is pretty much not sticking to the sides. Now when I pull it out of here, it is going to be sticky. That's for sure. So I'm going to try to show you. So now it's sticky. Now this is the hardest part about making it is literally getting it out here and putting it into my pan. It's not an easy task. This is the fun part if you like to get your hands dirty. Okay, so I'm getting it all off of here. Okay. And then, then I have to try to get this as level as I can because I want it to cook evenly. But it is very sticky. I'm going to have to just get it off my... Okay. And just get as much batter as you possibly can off of here. And then... Of course, then you have to go to the sink and rinse your hands before you even put this inside because you don't want the batter on the, the ends. Okay, I'm going to go rinse my hands. Okay, so I'm going to show you. So this is what it looks like right now. Okay, 
So I am putting this in the oven at 375 and it will be ready in about an hour, but we'll check it along the way. So see you soon. Okay, so we're about 30 minutes into the hour long bread making. So let's check it out and see where we're at. Now, as you can see, if you remember what it looked like before, it was like way down over here and now it's all the way over the top like that. It's got a lot longer to go. But what I forgot to tell everybody is if you have a rack that's up here, you might want to remove your rack. I ended up moving my rack down below. So that way it doesn't uh, rise right into your rack. So we'll check on it soon again. See you soon. Okay, so I have pulled the bread out of the oven and I'm gonna have to probably wait just a few minutes before I take it out, out of this pan. I don't wanna wait too long, but I'm just trying to show you how big that I ended up getting. So it really got quite a bit larger. So just in a few minutes, I'll take this out of the pan and it'll almost be time for taste testing. Okay, so now the tricky part, and that's to get this bread out of the pan without having it fall apart and without burning my hands. So that's, because I want to eat the bread warm because that's always good. So I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to do this. And I'm going to kind of just roll it out on this cutting board carefully. Okay. And then I'm going to, it's hot, but I'm going to quickly just put it <laughs> to cool it down a little. And I'm going to let that cool down a bit and then I will slice it and taste test it. Okay. Now we're going to move the bread over to the cutting board. And I'm going to cut a couple pieces. Steam's coming out of my cut bread. All right, time to test taste this bread. Can't wait, it smells so good. All right, I'm gonna taste test the heel, which I like. I don't like the heel if it's store-bought bread, but if it's homemade bread, I do. Mmm. Mmm, very good, come out wonderful. I have to get to my spaghetti and meatballs with this bread. It's very good. I want to show you what, put this on this side here. So that's how it looks. And it's a very delicious bread. It's kind of hard to stop eating homemade bread, so <laughs> I don't do it all the time. But this is my favorite um, homemade bread recipe. It's quite easy. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you subscribe to my channel, thank you very much. If you enjoy the content, please subscribe and like the video and have a great evening. Thank you for watching.